how to stop your item platform with OpsBridge on it. And we're going to use our tool of choice, mRemoteNG, which allows us to execute several, com uh, well, the same command on several servers at once, right? So it's called a multi SSH toolbar. That's the one. So we are going to do cube status and it's right here in the corner dot sh and it's going to run it oh cube status sh command not found all right let's see what's going wrong with this one so it worked on worker one and worker two but it did not on war on master so something is going on with our master and this is why we want to stop everything and actually reboot the environment power it off to take a snapshot before we do any crucial changes all right fantastic so it doesn't work so let's give it a full path for cube stop so it's gonna be cube ctl no it's going to be slash opt slash kubernetes slash bin slash cube stop dot sh minus y for yes so there wouldn't be a prompt and let's see that it finished everything else did it finish yeah i finished running everything so let's give it a try go for it and there we go it's stopping the services on all three of our machines so we need to wait for all of those statuses to be stopped, which is completely fine. And it takes different amounts of time, depends on the workload, on it, every component, which is also pretty normal. But we're not going to power it off just yet. What we're going to do, of course, we'll go and run the power off command. But, you know, uh, big software takes a lot of RAM, and even when it says stop, sometimes just we just need to give it a couple of minutes, you know, to just come around, to just clear the caches and everything else. Because, you know, uh, sometimes when you reboot uh, busy Kubernetes clusters, the master or the worker can get stuck in the power off cycle, switch to some kind of weird single user mode that doesn't end. And we just want to avoid the hassle of like, troubleshooting what's going on before we physically shut down the machine. So to minimize the damage, just give it, give it a couple of minutes and yeah, I use the time to talk to you <laughs> in order to make it happen. And there we go, power off. Something went wrong. Of course, something went wrong. Something went wrong because we powered off the machines. All right, so there we go with number one, number two, everything is powered off. So in the next video, you'll see how we actually switch the master that is configured right now to work, run as worker as well. We'll remove this workload from the master and we will add ourselves a nice worker number three instead. So stay tuned for the next video, just browse the channel and you'll find it out.